Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and if you're looking for a unique gift, we have a special guest with some fun ideas. Celeste Hodges with Celestial Ceramics joins us, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. First of all, tell me about your business and what made you get started. Yeah, um, so I actually just started working with ceramics last year. Um, my sister bought me a class for my birthday, and I just completely like fell in love with it, and I've touched clay every single day since. Like, I'm just obsessed. <laughs> and you make so many cool things. Show us some of the things you brought with us. Like, you can do anything with clay, pretty much. Yeah, but I see that a wine glass, a coffee mug. I mean, show us some of the things you brought with you. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I brought this little wine glass that my son helped me paint right here. Um, and when you tape it off, like, the kids can do something, like, super pretty, you know, when you're like, um, when you, when they don't really know exactly what to do. And then my nephews did this one, um, for Valentine's Day for their dad with their little handprints. And then I also have some heart bowl workshops coming up soon. Um, and this is a heart bowl that I have glazed myself and it's like completed. And then I have this one just to show you guys what it looks like when it comes, um, just bisque ready to be painted. Yeah. And what I like about these is they can be personalized. So like you mentioned, uh, your son, or your yeah. nephew or anyone like if you have even like little kids like babies they can do little handprints and stuff right yeah absolutely and it can be completely personalized and then like sentimental um, I actually made some mugs uh, last fall for my friends who are getting engaged and like their first date was at a coffee shop and so um, the, ver the very bottom of the mug said will you marry me and it, it was just so perfect and special and now they have a piece of that forever and it was so sweet of you you brought me one to try yes. it so while we're chatting uh, and this is a a wine glass. Yes. And so for people who don't know, meaning me, um, you can, <laughs> you, you painted this first, yes. right? Yes. So, okay. um, bisque wear, um, will not be shiny unless it's painted with glaze. Um, so I just went ahead and painted the whole thing with white so that you didn't have to like paint all over it. Um, so that you can just paint whatever you want. Yeah. Like, it'll okay. turn out really nice. We're going to attempt to do a palm tree. So I'm nice. going to try to do this as I'm talking to you. But this is something fun that you could go. I mean, it could be a galantine, yeah. I think the word. You can go with your girlfriends to like make some pottery or you can bring your kids and make something for your significant other. Yeah. I mean, there's so many options, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there, uh, there's so many options. Like you can literally just, you can paint something or you could take a class and learn to make something special for them. Um, there's, there's a lot of options here for sure. And you have a location and I see that you have a lot of pop-up spots. Yeah. So, um, like breweries and restaurants and just where are some places that people can do this? Um, so right now I am doing pop-ups. I have a few scheduled next week on the 9th and the 12th at Old Salem Brewery. And then I have a paint your own pet bowl event happening on the 8th at a new slate salon downtown. Um, and then I am about to plan some with Parkway, and then I just have a few more coming up. And you have pet bowls as well. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so you can personalize though. We can put Joe's name on it. I mean, these are all great gift ideas. So if you don't have kids or you just want to kind of celebrate your, if you're like us, me and my fiance, we're obsessed with my dog. Yeah. That could be a good gift. Look how, I feel like I'm doing okay with this. No, it looks how, awesome. You, give me a grade here. How yeah, am I doing? You're doing great. I love that palm tree. Is there a specific technique? Like you have so many brushes and <laughs> I feel like it would take, to do something like this would just, be fun and have the kids yeah. go crazy. But this is a little um, more advanced. Yeah. How do you get the lining and stuff? Um, so this I just taped off with some like super skinny tape. And then um, I told my son just to paint. I give him just a few colors. And I was like, okay, you can paint in between. Uh, you can just paint anywhere pretty much. And then the lines come off. And then the same type of thing right here uh, with the heart. We put like a little heart stencil and covered it in paper. And then um, the kids got to paint all over it. And then we pulled it off and then they could put their hands in the heart. And then when everything's done painted, you, you like, I guess, glaze it. I'm so unfamiliar. Yeah, no, that's okay. And that's how it gets all shiny and pretty. Yeah, so once, um, so once it's all done, I put it in the kiln and then um, it, yeah, when it's done, that's when it turns to glass and it's all shiny and pretty. Okay, last question for you. What's the best place to find you? Is it your Instagram page? Yeah, uh, my Instagram, I'm actually working on a website right now, which I hope will be up next, uh, by the beginning of next week. But my Instagram page is the best place to find me right now. And you can just shoot me a message about anything and I'll respond and we'll definitely plan something special. Sounds great. Celeste, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Stay I with appreciate it. Of course. And we'll show you guys this later when it's the finished product. Yeah. Yes. But I think so far I'm doing okay, yes. right? You're doing great.